Hey everyone, Miles J here, and we all know it's coming. Are you protected? Well, I sure the fuck am. This is my earthquake bag. It's a nice, beautiful orange color, nice bright one that pops and says, Let's see what it looks like all the way on, sweetheart. And boom, this is what the full fit looks like. Okay, so on this side, we've got, oh my gosh, silver stuff. Oh, it's emergency food rations from Mainstay 2400. That's right there, I got some food. Okay, so in this one I've got uh, deodorant. Yes, yes, and yes, you cannot leave the house. I don't care what kind of crisis you're in. If you have access to deodorant, you better f put that shit on. In this pocket, we've got, oh my gosh, it's my Urban Decay Black Liner in Zero. Oh my gosh. So this is actually a pencil, not just a liner. So if you need a little bit of a, oh my God, yes, yes. Look at this. Help! I'll be able to write on pretty much any surface. It transfers, it smudges, just in case, you know, I need to like write it and then quickly erase it. I don't know like what situation that would come up in, but you know, just in case, it can hurt, right? Yeah. Next thing I have in here is protective eyewear. This completely covers my eyes, just in case any, you know, debris, um, blood, uh, semen, anything, any, any of those things come at me in my eye in my face then I can definitely be like whoa or have some protection for my eyes because I'm gonna need to be able to see in order to get through this bitch okay protective eyewear is extremely important and fashionable protective eyewear is a must don't I look like I'm handling shit it does doesn't it well it's a facade it's all in the glasses baby moving on to my next product it is da 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 Carmex if my lips are out here crusty peeling falling off no 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 I rebuke that in the name of Jesus and that's all that's in my outside pockets this is uh, what the inside of my bag looks like you guys ready here's what the inside of my bag looks like oh my god <laughs> the first thing that you guys are seeing right here are my documents. As you can see, I've got my passport, and on this side is my birth certificate, but y'all don't need to see that because that's none of y'all's damn business. My passport, because just in case I need to get the fuck out of the country, you know, I don't know what's gonna pop off, you know? Donald Trump is the president right now, and we've been doing a lot of progressive things that he's just really side-eyeing and trying to fight against, so I don't know if he's really gonna come to our assistance. I mean, y'all, look at Puerto Rico right now. Look at uh, Flint, Michigan, girl. If this earthquake is as bad as people be talking about it, uh, I don't know if we gonna be able to rely on the president to do shit. Maybe like our governors, maybe. You know, uh, Californians are good people. There's a lot of good people here, so I'm hoping to rely on my fellow citizens, you know? Uh, but just in case that doesn't pop off, mm, I've got my documents. Um, you, you will need your documents, you know, just in case. It'll just, it's just useful, especially if you have, um, access to your own birth certificates. Those should definitely be placed in a waterproof, uh, fireproof, uh, all weatherproof, uh, container, just in case. Because it's really hard to reobtain those documents. Okay, so, cool. Um, the next thing I have in here is, oh my gosh, it's my ice pack. Ugh. Ugh. It's my ice pack, so this is um, whenever cold therapy is recommended. So like swelling. So next right here, we have, oh my gosh, it's a radio. So the radio is for listening in and seeing if like they're announcing like where the shelter is or where's the hottest club. Let's see if it works, cause I'm not. On to our next product, flashlights. So this is one. Now on this side we have 
face masks. Now these are supposed to protect me from oxygen. Next are these gloves, just to keep warm. They're like military wool gloves. You know, they'll just be useful for picking things up. Next in this pocket is a travel safe, safe aid kit. First aid kit, excuse me. <laughs> this is my favorite product. Uh, the emergency blankets. Now these are some futuristic shits, okay? These are some futuristic materials. Waterproof, reusable, used to offset hypothermia. Reflective surface provides high visibility. Um, reflects sun and heat for cooling in a hot climate. It retains 90% of body heat. So that basically means you could use it in the cold, you can use it in the summer, and you could use it whenever. So, and it's also waterproof. How blessed is that? I've got two of these. So if I gotta share with one of my roommates, I'll be there, but you know, the other roommate will definitely be fucked. So first come, first serve, guys. Now in this secondary pocket back here, I've got emergency water. Oh my God. So my next item in here is a special one because ugh, ugh, it's my laptop. <laughs> now I know what you guys are thinking. Miles, why would you bring your laptop in your earthquake bag? Well, because it'll have Wi-Fi, and I know what you guys are thinking now. Well, uh, what if the Wi-Fi towers are down? It doesn't matter, because I'll be able to connect whenever the internet lines are back up. And I'll be able to post memes as well, because my meme folder is in this laptop. And I'll also have my phone, just in case, because, you know, um, my phone also has memes. The next item I have in this bag is a bit of a big one, because... Uh, uh, it's my jacket. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at how beautiful that is. Uh, so this is my Miss Kika jacket. As you can see, it's freaking beautiful. And I'm hoping that this beauty catches the eyes of someone who wants to help and not someone who wants to hurt me. So I'm just really putting my faith in the heart of the cards on that one. My next item is definitely one of my faves. It's a wig! Yes, that's right, girl, a wig. Now, you know I cannot leave the house without a wig, except for today, because, you know, she's feeling herself today, you know, the natural came out, okay, the natural jumped out. This will also help get their attention. I'll be like, hey, guys, I'm here, I'm beautiful. Don't you just see um, a beautiful woman standing in front of you, just waiting to be saved? I do. I see that every time I look in the mirror. The next item I have in my bag is <laughs> it's lotion! I was sent this by a friend, Crystal, and this is really just going to help me feel comfortable and not be ashy in these very trying times. Who knows? This little bottle might be the only thing that keeps me going through the day. Who knows? Um, I hope it doesn't get that bad, but a bitch is preparing. A bitch is just preparing for the worst, okay? You can't blame me for wanting a little of the comforts in life while I make my transition into this nightmarish hell. Okay, now that we got that done. <laughs> so my next item is, uh, ta-da, it's this doctor's robe. Why would you need a doctor's robe? Well, of course, to sneak into the hospital and steal valuable medication that I'm sure that I will probably be needing and others will probably be needing too. So as you can see, this jacket says, High Desert Hospital, LA County. Now, I don't know where that is, but I know it says LA County and that's definitely where I live. And you know, doctors probably don't pay attention to that shit anyway. I'll just need to swipe off an ID card and we'll be good to go. It'll be during a crisis. I know what you guys are thinking. That's so taboo, Miles. So many people need help. Everyone needs help. And you know, you can only get help if you take it for yourself. Yeah, that's how you survive. And last, but certainly not least, is <clears throat> this knife, motherfucker. Cause if any of you bitches try me out here in these streets, I will fuck your ass up. I'm not trying to fight with nobody out here in these streets. I'm just trying to survive. So if any of you guys bitches, motherfuckers, want to come at me, Okay, you already know what's good. You already know what's good, bitch. So yeah, as you can see, this is a very beautiful pastel blue hue. I'm not a violent person either. I'm not a violent person. Um, I just don't like to be fucked with. Okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure that we got that point across. I just don't. I don't. I don't, I don't have time.
time. <laughs> I don't have time. I don't have time. It's been so amazing making this what's in my earthquake bag for you guys video. Make sure to protect yourselves, okay? Stay okay. Stay all right. All right. Okay. Um, and be well, baby. Be well. And until next time, it's been me, Miles J. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, bye. <laughs> No, but for real, y'all, please be safe out in these streets. Um, this earthquake bag, it's not a joke. Like, this this actual, like, some of the things in here were a joke, but this earthquake bag in general, she, I'm not fucking kidding. It is what it is. It is what it is, baby. Baby. But we gonna be here. We gonna be all right. We gonna try to fight. All through the night, you know we gon' gonna stay here. We gonna give the things to all our peers, and we're gonna fight, fight to the night, night. We're gonna stay alive until it's right. You know we're going down, and going all around, staying in this town, cause we won't frown. <laughs>